How to make an Arduino-powered Adafruit MacroPad MIDI controller. To follow this tutorial, you would need to have installed the Arduino IDE. I've included a link to my How to Install Arduino IDE 2 in Ubuntu 22 tutorial in the description. Next, you must download the code for this tutorial and open it in the Arduino IDE. Again, I have included a link to the code in the description. If your Adafruit MacroPad is not connected to your computer, connect it now. For the Arduino IDE to support the Adafruit MacroPad, you must add the RP2040 board manager. To do this, click File, then Preferences. Now enter this board manager URL and click OK to close the open dialogs. Wait for the index to download. Then click Tools, Board, Board Manager. Search for RP2040, then scroll down and install it. Click Tools, Board, RP2040, then select Adafruit MacroPad RP2040. Next, click Tools, Port, and select the port. Now it's time to install the libraries that the code depends on. Click Tools, Manage Libraries. Search for the Adafruit NeoPixel library and install it. Then search for the Adafruit SH110X library and install that. Click Install All to install the library's dependencies too. Next, search for MIDI, then scroll down to find MIDI library and install it. Finally, search for and install the Rotary Encoder library. To compile this project, you must use the Adafruit Tiny USB USB Stack. To select it, click Tools, USB Stack, Adafruit Tiny USB. Now it's time to upload the project. Simply click the Upload button or select Upload via the Sketch menu. After a few moments, the project should be uploaded. Now let's take a look at the controls. Pressing and releasing the keys will send note on and note off MIDI messages. The notes that correspond with the keys are shown here. Pressing the rotary encoder selects the next option. Turning the rotary encoder adjusts the currently selected option. The range option determines the range of the notes represented by the keys. The attack option sets the velocity used for note on MIDI messages and the Decay option sets the velocity used for note off MIDI messages. The controller should work with most digital audio workstation applications. One such application is LMMS, which is free, open source and cross-platform. LMMS is available from lmms.io. To use it, download the version for your operating system. Then run or install and run it in the usual way. If prompted to create a working directory, click Yes. Click OK to accept the default setup and click OK to restart the application. To use the controller as an input, you can click the cog icon next to the triple oscillator, select MIDI, input and then select the macro pad. Now double click the first rectangle in the song editor to open the piano roll. You can now press some keys on the controller to see and hear them be played. To use the controller as an output, first deselect it as an input and then select it as an output. You can now open the piano roll as before, click some keys with your mouse and see the keys light up on the controller. To view raw MIDI output from the controller or to send raw MIDI messages to it, you can use a MIDI monitor. MIDI monitors are available for free for most operating systems. For Ubuntu, you can use MIDI Snoop. 
To install MIDI Snoop, open a terminal window. Type sudo apt update, press enter and enter your password if prompted. Then type sudo apt install MIDI Snoop and press enter. When prompted, press Y to continue with the installation. To run it, type MIDI Snoop and press enter. Click configure, select ALSA sequencer as the driver, select the macro pad as the input port and click close. Now press some keys on the macro pad to see MIDI messages. You can click clear to clear the messages. To send MIDI messages to the controller, click configure and deselect the macro pad as the input port. Then select the macro pad as the output port and click close. To send a MIDI message, click add. We send messages using hexadecimal. To send a note on message for middle C or C4, we would use 903C40. When you click send, the corresponding key should illuminate on the controller. To send a note off message for middle C or C4, click add, replace the message with 803C0 and click send. The key on the controller should now deluminate. And that is how to make an Arduino powered Adafruit MacroPad MIDI controller. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking like and subscribe.